Myron, the 21st R.O. Smith uh, annual Earl Boys match between Somerset and St. George takes place this coming Saturday. Um, it, it always seems to be one of those uh, games that everybody marks down on the calendar. Um, why is it so intriguing and so entertaining um, to see these older guys come out and, and just, just put on a display? Well, first of all, people have to understand that the rivalry between St. George's and Somerset goes back to the cup match days. And like I said, these guys are over 40, they play, they spend their time. So this is a way of you know, enjoying ourselves and keeping the camaraderie, to, you know, keeping everybody together. Like, So that's, that's my view of it. 21 years, when you guys started putting this together, did you think it would keep going? Or did you think it was one of those things that um, after a while, guys would get tired of maybe like everything we looked at about five years but i'm i'm been there but again for the 21st year now yeah now it's obviously every year you guys highlight uh former players from both teams um who's some of the people that will be highlighted um from the west end this year from the west end we have joe bailey former cup match captain for samson we have icewater smith john stowell uh, Eugene Roberts and Quentin Robert Legs de Silva. Uh, we have special awards this year to R referee Richard Knights and Sports Journalist Award Dexter Smith. What about the East Enders? East End, we're doing two this year because Up Thompson and many thousand Georges we have. You know, right. We're doing Quentin Mallory and Lulu Furby. Now, this game here is full of laughs. Uh, because you see guys who, um, some of them don't play all year until this one comes around, but it always seems to bring the two clubs even closer together at the end of regular football season, but it just ends with a good note. Um, what, what are some of the things shared between the older guys, uh, basically off the field, about the game, how it used to be? Okay. Before I get into that, is this particular year, because I, I want people to understand we're going through a real sad period this year because of of death in within individuals' family. Like we had Stevie Dixon's mother being eulogized yesterday. Sudden death of Cal C. O. Rainer. Uh Colin Smith, former president and player from Samson Cricket Club that was always participated in this event. And then, of course, you have Matt Smith. Our husband, R.O. Smith, that's why they put up the trophy. And we, pay, we play in the honor of, of the Smith family. So it's kind of sad for the players right now. But to me, the players are mature enough to override that. And like you said, we have a good time Sunday. And guys sit back and talk about the old days. And be upfront how, how the, how, uh, the trail is, is put a lot of cracks on St. George's from the beginning right up to now. So it's, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. And then to see guys being on it for the time that they're putting in, it really touches touches me guys on the committee. Yeah. All right, well, we'll see you Saturday afternoon around three o'clock. Yeah. Hopefully uh, everybody's got enough Bengay on to, to last them for the 90 minutes. But I also would like to people understand because we used to get about 2,000 people there. This is a nice crowd for that type of game. But a lot of times, I think they should come upstairs and share in the festivities, like we have um, food and all this stuff. And then these guys will be on it. And people will get to know the history of these particular guys. So that's what I'm looking forward to. 21 years ago, um, a vision of, of an old boys match between St. George's and Somerset was put forward. And, and it's something that uh, Carlsberg kind of jumped right on. Um, continue on for 21 years. Is, is it a special thing for your company to be in support of an event such as this? Of course. Um, with us at Carlsberg, specifically speaking, um, is the biggest sponsor of football worldwide. Um, since basically since 1988, they sponsored the Euro um, 88 in in I believe it was West Germany when Holland won with Ruud Hullet. And since then, they've been the biggest sponsor of football, sponsoring the Euros ever since, um, sponsoring Liverpool Football Club, and now they actually sponsor the entire English Premier League. They're the official beer of the league. So for us, 
you know, to continue that um, platform of sponsoring football, um, it was definitely a good fit um, to sponsor the R.O. Smith tournament. I'm not sure where 21 years takes us. Is that, ni- is that 1988? Maybe somewhere around there. <laughs> my math, yeah, my, my math is, is, is a bit off. But um, yeah, so for us as a, as a football sponsor, um, to, to sponsor these guys, the past legends um, of, of football from the Somerset and, and St. George's teams is, you know, it's an honor for us. And, and for me personally, getting to see some of the old old players and getting to put a, a picture or a face with the names that you hear coming up as, as a, a fan of football or somebody that even plays football as well. Now, you guys put a lot into it because you sponsor Kit. Uh, to take care of a lot of the stuff both on and off the field um, any special jerseys this year not this year but um I think three years ago we, we decided to to refresh the jerseys um, for Somerset we wanted them to look kind of like AC Milan so um, we got their jerseys look very much like AC Milan's jerseys did a, a few years ago um, St. George's, uh, you know, it's the traditional blue and blue. I can't really think of a professional team that wears that color, but maybe Man City if they, if, if I was to be nice to them. So um, that's what they, they look like. Um, they're, they're very nice jerseys. Also, we do um, banners and giveaways for the legends and also the players alike. So that's something they look forward to after the game as well. Well, hopefully another 21 years uh, can continue with the sponsorship of Carlsberg and Boris and Leipzig. Yes. Thank you, and it's always a pleasure to, to, to sponsor these guys. Um, I like to actually watch them huff and puff around the field. Um, a lot of them still have a lot of you know, good skills to, 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 to put on show for the people that come out and pay their money to watch the game. So it should be entertaining. Usually it goes right down to the wire. A couple of people pull up with hamstring injuries, but, you know, you can see that in any type of football. Well, maybe I come up with one award. The team whose birth dates add up to be the highest <laughs> in total, they get an award. That, that, that's a point. That, that's a good point. I think the, the series between the two teams are very tight, too. It's not like Somerset is, it has 20 victories versus to the one of St. George's. So every year it's, it's a close tussle. So um, it should be a, quite a competitive match at the same time. All right, well, thank you for sponsoring, and we look forward to more sponsorship uh, of this particular event. Yes, thank you.